Hi YouTube, Carrie from Foster's Fields. Today I'm making some cool process soap and I thought I would do a quick film of my process. I'm making patchouli soap today. Um, you can see that I've got everything laid out here. Um, my fragrance oil, my colors, I've got everything to mix. I'm trying to have everything ready to go so that I'm not searching for anything when I'm in the process. Um, so let's get started. I think I've got everything good to go here. So in the pot, um, I have cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, palm oil, and olive oil. Hang on a second. Stay up there, okay? And children that I need to stay upstairs. Okay, so in over here, I've got a lime. Please mind the mess of my area today. <laughs> I've been working all day. It was kind of a last minute decision to try and make a video. So I'm going to slowly pour my lye into my oils. I like to put it just over my spatula. Um, get as few bubbles as I can. I used to do it over, over the stick blender, but I just, it just doesn't do it for me. I still seem to get bubbles and then I've had a few times it splashed up on me and I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but it just didn't seem to work. So I just pour it over my spatula. If I had two more hands, I would show you that <laughs> process. Something tells me I need a helper when I make my YouTube videos. So here we go. I'm pouring it kind of slow because I don't want to plunk in. I don't want to splash up on me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't want it to um, get any bubbles. And here's my blender here. So I'm going to get noisy. I'm just going to blend this to a light trace. I can actually find something to put this in so I can show you guys what I'm doing. Um, my container, I had my shea butter in, so that would be fine. I'm just going to tap that off, set that aside. Um, let's see if I can just lift you guys up and show you what's going on as best I can with one hand. Sorry, I don't have the best angle here, but... Okay, let's just... Obviously, I cannot do this with one hand. I gotta hold the bucket. You want your soap to be fully incorporated. Um, <clears throat> I know from making this in the past, <clears throat> it doesn't speed up on me really at all with the um, patchouli. So <laughs> dropping you into the soap batter and um, see I'm getting a light trace here so I'm going to go ahead and add my patchouli and get that mixed in and then we're going to go ahead and add some colorants my patchouli is dark so it's going to darken my batter quite a bit I think um, I usually use a light patchouli, but I had, I think I bought this by accident actually, I think. So I'm going to use it up, but it is a fair bit darker. I'll just actually show you. Um, hang on a second. Is that getting it to see the darkness of the patchouli in there? It's quite dark. <clears throat> I don't usually use a stick blender to get the fragrance in there. I usually just... I don't turn it on, I guess is a good way to put it. Okay. So, get that mixed in. Let's just see here. You 
really make sure that that patchouli is really well mixed in. Still got a bright trace here, good enough to do the other stuff that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so we're gonna give my sticky blender a quickie scrape off because I want every bit of soap made to be into the mold. Let's give this a bit of a scrape. And then I'm going to put that aside because I probably gonna need it for some things. Please don't go anywhere, stick blender. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour off some of this soap. This is, um, I usually do a drop swirl for my patchouli soap, and this time I'm going to be trying a little bit different technique. So let's just pour some of this into here, and then I'm going to pour a little bit into each of these little cups because I'm going to color that with something else. I don't want too much of it, I don't think, into these cups. The batch I'm making today is roughly five pounds, I think. So, the rest of this I'm going to color with, bottom of the base is going to be buttercup yellow. Going to start with one teaspoon to see how I like that color and get that blended in. I'm gonna pull my stick blender back out for this. This, the rest of this here is all going to go into my mold. And it's just, it's just lightened it to a kind of a creamy yellow consistency. Let's see if I can show you guys what it's. I'll show you better when I get it in the mold. It's kind of a creamy consistency. Creamy yellow, it's, it's actually quite pretty. Okay, put that in there. Take my, okay, as you can see, I'm starting to solidify up here. Let's see if I can point you guys down towards my mold again. Sorry about my mess, guys. It's just a disaster in here what I get for working too hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this beautiful yellow in here. It's starting to solidify up on me. Get all of that in there. The top half is gonna be the tricky part and I just made myself wear soap. That's not too bright. Okay. So I just throw this to the floor and give it a little tap just to get the bubbles out. Sorry, it's noisy, but it's gotta happen. Okay. So now I'm gonna work at these other colors. This main bit, I have some titanium dioxide water soluble that I'm going to put in there to get this white. And you can see I'm already 
thickening up here, so I should probably move my little butt along and get this going. Let me not want to. these cups I'm going this one is um, Razul clay or red clay I guess to call it and I put a little bit of water in this um, and then I've got activated charcoal in here and then this one is iron oxide yellow I'm just gonna put a little bit into that one because I really don't have that much uh, Ooh, soap in those. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one and get that mixed in there. It is not gonna happen very well with this. I might have to pull out something else to make these, which I am gonna do. I don't use these cups very often. This does not fit very well at all. So let's just pull out something else to make these. Get my trusty spatula here and we'll just give these a good mix. Can you see the color on that? You want to make sure you get all the soap up from the bottom. So this is going to be a half and half. Like I usually do a drop swirl on a lot of my soaps. So this time I'm doing the bottom in a different color and then doing a um, in the pot type swirl for the top. So there's the yellow. Most that off. And then we'll mix the clay in, which is going to be a kind of a brownie color. I like the kind of earth tones for patchouli soap, just a personal preference. Um, I, would, I did make them different colors when I first started, but I like to play with the soap each time I make it. Um, sometimes you might get a bar of soap from me that <laughs> looks different, the same sense usually, but um, sometimes I play around with the swirling technique, so. All right, there's that one, and then we'll mix this one in. And there we go. Okay, make sure I've got it all in from the bottom. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is drop that in. Get my little bits out of that. And then I'm going to drop this one in. And then I'm going to And it just about doesn't fit <laughs> into my. <laughs> I did not think that through. <laughs> Got a video and a blooper all in one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is just give this a bit of a swirl. And then we're going to pour it over top of there. Just gonna go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it over the, um, get this so you can see it. I'm going to use my spatula and pour it over the spatula so it hopefully doesn't break through the other layer. I don't think it will because the other layers are already setting up. Gonna dump the rest of it in and <laughs> hope that I didn't boo that. And see, you can see that I my soap has thickened up a fair bit, um, so it didn't I didn't hold it quite high enough, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure we'll still get a pretty soap with all those beautiful colors. Okay, get everything scraped out of there. Okay, now I'm gonna take that dowel back. That I had, and I'm just going to. I'm not going to go all the way down the soap, I just want to kind of jig it up the top of it a wee bit. So I'm just doing like figure eights just across the top, kind of guesstimating how far down that this layer is. 
All right, so we'll just go like that around. And there you have it. There you go. So right now it's sitting, oops, it's sitting um, just like that. I've done the swirl. One of these days I'll get a better tripod so I can really do this properly. And I'm gonna do something on the top once it firms up a little bit. So I will be back in a few minutes and I will show you what I do to um, the top. So I'm back just to do the top of my soap. Um, I'm not sure if everybody can see this, but basically I just take my spatula here and I just work the top of the soap. Um, I've let it sit here for probably 10 minutes while I try to do some tidy up of my area. Um, I just like the top to have a little something extra instead of flat. I get a lot of compliments actually on it, so it makes my trouble worth it um, when people like it. So just, sometimes I just like to go again. I just basically play with the batter until I get the soap tops looking the way I want them to look. You just go again, kind of lightly. Again, to mind the mess of my area, it's a disaster in here. So, let me just get rid of the, I'll just wipe my soap off. Um, see if I can get you in for a closer look at what that looks like. You'll see the way I've done the top a little bit better once, oh, maybe that's better. Um, when I cut it tomorrow, you'll be able to see the, to the soap top a lot better. And wonderful new glitter that I've got from Nurture Soap in the U.S. It's one of the few things I've actually bought from there. I like, do like to buy things um, Canadian if I can, but I, I wanted this um, biodegradable glitter and I couldn't find it anywhere. If anybody knows where I can find it in Canada, please let me know. Um, because this cost me a lot to get from the States. But really nice company. They were great. They answered all my questions. They were a lovely company. Nothing against them whatsoever. Um, this is black onyx mineral glitter. So I just, because I've got some black in here, I'm just going to go along and put a little bit of this on the top just because who does not love glitter? One thing I find about this is it just goes everywhere. I have black glitter, I have black glitter on me for the next few days. And there you have it. Let's see if I can get a little shot of the glitter and hopefully that's going to come through. There's probably some glitter floating out. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I cut this patchouli soap.